theaters are magic. You go into a theater, and I don't care if it's a small little local one in your hometown or something as grand as Radio City Music Hall. When you're in the music hall and the lights go down, it becomes intimate and fascinating and magical. So many people identify movies with some of the best times of their lives. They remember their first dates, they remember their first time out with their family, the first time they went to see a movie about being a doctor, being a politician, being an astronaut. There's something about seeing those stories on screen and you get a chance to understand other cultures, other experiences, other places. We may never live those fantasies or those lives of the people we're watching, but we do it vicariously. You were giving people a complete escape from their ordinary lives. From the moment you walked into the lobby, plush carpeting, gilded relief work on the walls and on the ceilings, magnificent chandeliers, decor from different periods of art and architecture around the globe. This at a time when most people, most Americans, didn't have the opportunity to travel. They were places where the rich and the poor could rub elbows. They built these palaces to be the Disney of the day so that you walk in off the street and you forget all of the troubles and all of the things that you had going on in your life because you're surrounded by this magnificent building. I remember coming here as a child and just being completely amazed and taken aback by the ornate beauty of the building. When I first started my job at Theater Historical Society, it was kind of eye-opening for me to learn that the places that I went to to see Broadway touring shows or the symphony were actually buildings that were built as movie palaces. Toward the end of World War I, up through the Depression, which is the early 30s, there was just a boom. That's the only way to describe it, a boom that led to the building of innumerable movie palaces, not theaters, but palaces, and ones you can visit today and still see and still enjoy a movie in. It seems so incredibly lavish. You wonder how anybody could conceive of them or why they would build such structures just to go to the movies. As Marcus Lowe, the famous showman and businessman said, we don't sell tickets to movies, we sell tickets to theaters. <laughs>